Welcome to Axedis, a very happy user. We'll see how Odoo 15 will help them organize their errors for efficiency to minimize the number of touches and reduce errors. And we'll start our journey with purchasing product. We'll see the purchase order, receiving the product and storing them to the right location. You ready? Let's go. Once you purchase the product, the truck comes a few days later and brings the products to you. We unload the products in the dock. Then, the dock coordinator scans the product received. He can build pallets and boxes together. All he has to do to identify the right receipt is to scan one of the products, just like that, and do filters to the right receipt. When I select the receipt, is proposing me to batch all the receipts from the same vendor. That way, I will be able to scan multiple orders in one shot, very easy. Then I can scan my products. I scan a product, and when I have uh, more units, I can say I will scan a box of 40 or a pallet or 84. You scan it or you do it on the screen. And I confirm. Then, once you have scanned all the product, you can place a license plate number which is, a, in this case, an SSCC number, an identification of the palette. You place this number on the palette, and now it's identified with all this content. All I have to do is to scan it. If you use QR code, it's even easier. With GS1 code, you have all the information you need, the product, the quantity, the packaging, the serial numbers, if you use them, in the QR code. So it's very easy. You scan the QR code, and Odoo sets all the data for you. All you have to do after is to identify the palette. If you want to place a palette number on it, like this, you scan it and you are good to go. You can identify and store this palette in the warehouse. Perfect, right in time. Now, the material handler will store the palette to the right location. All he has to do is to scan the palette number and Odoo will tell him where to store it in which location. It's based on put-away strategies that you can define based on the capacity of your bin, the type of packaging, or custom strategies like a triadic warehouse with slow, medium, and fast-paced products. Now that the products are stored, Patrick, the inventory manager, can launch CycleCount. He can do it manually based on rules. That's what he's doing right now or I can automate it with rules that he sets on the location. And once he set these inventory rules, the people will start the task. Based on the cycle count request, the worker can do his inventory adjustment. In this case, I have to check this product. I have three products in the system, but I see I have four. So what I can do is scan the four products just like that. So I have one extra. And I can validate my inventory adjustment so that the inventory level will be fixed. But maybe if I have four here, it's because there is one somewhere else in another location. In order to get the inventory level of any product everywhere in your rows, just scan it, just like that, and you see everywhere this product is located. And we see here that in another shelf, in another row, we have one of these products. And so I can fix this quantity too. Let's see now how to organize the customer flow from picking to packing to shipping. So we're back with Patrick, the inventory manager, and he will show us how we use the new reservation method in order to decide what should be done today. So we have three methods. One is as soon as possible, which was the only method available in Odoo 14, or he can do manually so that he controls when he wants to trigger what, or he can use X days before scheduled day to automate the process. So for example, we have FedEx coming in on Monday. So Monday morning, it triggers manually all the reservations so that we know we have to do that this day. Now that we reserved all the products to be done today, the inventory manager will decide who will do it and in which batch. For this, he has different picking strategies, batch picking, wave picking, or cluster picking. You can automate all these strategies or he can do it manually to have a fine tuning of what he wants to do. He is currently creating a wave transfer and assigning a responsible so that he will give a task to the worker. That is very efficient to automate your flow in the warehouse. To speed up the inventory process, workers do cluster picking. 
They can pick multiple orders at once, storing one order per box so that they are ready to pack very easily and fast. So I choose one of the batch, the batch one, and it's telling me what to do. First, I need two of these. So I scan the product and then I move it to one box. I scan the box so that it knows for which order it is allocated. Then I check and I need four of these. One, two, three, four. And I move the box in the same box because it's for the same order. So I put the four products right there, just like that. And I scan this box so that he knows that I put it for this order. Now I check and I need to do this one. And I need three of it. But this time it's for another order. So I move them in the right box and I scan the package. Once it's done, I validate the order and we are good to go. We, all we need to do now is to pack these products. As the products are ready, the worker can pack the products and Odoo automatically print the shipping label. He can stick the shipping label on the box and we are good to go. The customer will receive his product in a few days. The new version of Odoo, Odoo 15, has been designed around seven principles for best warehouse operation. First, we want the minimal number of touches of the goods. So from the receipt to delivery, we want to optimize the number of touches. If you have a fully automated warehouse, it could be zero. But in reality, the majority of the warehouse management system run around seven or eight touches. With Odoo 15, we think we decreased it to three or four touches uh, for each good. Second, we designed our other one-way flow. We have tools so that you can design from the picking, the replenishment of, and the receipt of the good one way in your warehouse so that it's easy to organize the warehouse and you minimize the distance traveled by the people. Third, we want the stock in the right place. If you, if you minimize error, if you uh, optimize where you store the goods to reduce the travel distance, if you uh, organize better your warehouse, you can save up to 20 to 30% of the time to operate your warehouse. Next, we want the right amount of stock. We want to be easily to, we want, don't want too much, not too few. It's easy to replenish. You really have the right amount of stock in the right packaging method. Next, we design so that you optimize labor. The barcode scanner is super fast. You have uh, tasks for every operator so they know exactly what to do. We reduce the number of, we also reduce the travel distance they have to do. We also work so that all the operations they have to do, like inventory or picking, packing, shipping, everything is built in for them to proceed very fast. Next, we want to minimize errors. If we minimize errors, we'll have less issues with replenishment. Everything is going to be better. So we have control system, benchmarking, and tools so that they have to record less, or tools so that we can control where you have issues. And last but not least, our system is fast and reliable. Um, it can even work if you lose the internet connection, which is very important in the warehouse because your Wi-Fi doesn't work everywhere in the warehouse. So we designed something that runs uh, everywhere. 